Well, on a recent BART trip, one of our reporters came across hypodermic needles. She immediately began asking questions about rider safety. BART says it's trying to keep the trains and stations clean while also tackling the underlying problem, addiction. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Eudis takes an up-close look at a new pilot program. It puts BART officers on the front line of the opioid epidemic. Okay, you all right? Do you need anything? The tone of David Touye's greeting is finely tuned from years working as a bartender. You need some socks? I got, yeah, I got a pair. I'll get you a pair. Perhaps it was practice <sighs> for his new regulars, people who've truly hit bottom. All right, partner. These are the good kind, thin slate. Keep your feet warm. I need to sit up. Bart officers Touye and Eric Hofstein, a former EMT, patrolled downtown San Francisco stations. We're a little city on train tracks. And like cities across the country, they have a problem. I'm looking for the needles so nobody gets poked. I see needles, I see OD, I see, I see drugs being sold, drugs being done, drugs being stuffed in their mouths. On a recent BART ride of my own, I sat down, looked across the aisle to see a seat full of needles. So I snapped a picture and asked the simple question, how do we address this problem? If the arrest and the incarceration is not addressing the root of the problem, which is an addiction, then it's not going to, you're still going to have the same results in the end. You're going to be all right. Touye and Hofstein know the backstories, the circumstances of those desperate enough to sleep in a train station. Francis, you need to pack that up, please. Which makes them ideal for SF's law enforcement assisted diversion program known as LEAD. Officers can connect low level offenders to treatment services okay. instead of jail. What we know from research over time is that when somebody is in custody for brief amounts of time and their needs aren't being met, um, that we're not addressing the, the behaviors and the circumstances that lead to that arrest. The partnership with the Department of Public Health is funded by a grant and based on a Seattle program launched there in 2011. Other agencies across the country are trying it too. This is a way to break the cycle, look at things creatively and to do something differently. Officers have made nine pre-booking interventions since the pilot launched in October. Bart says they're adding cleaning crews to address the immediate biohazardous waste. While Touye and Hofstein attempt to tackle addiction and mental health one connection at a time. Hey, partner. In San Francisco, Katie Udis, ABC 7 News.